So for this end, the second coat on top of the primary coat uh, is going to be this. Um, so the finish is somewhat like what you see here, but uh, this is usually sprayed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use a brush and apply it all over. So um, this would have a thicker coat and I actually do not have a problem with its curing time because I can let it cure for a day or two. Um, so let's start mixing it and then let's get into the work today. So I'm using this temporary mixing table setup that I have. I'm going to place this so that it doesn't spill on top of it. And what I need is an opener. This is how it looks like from the inside. So I pour this out. And the next thing is this is <clears throat> this one doesn't use thinner, it uses turpentine. So guys, I've coated one layer. As you can see, it is pretty evenly laid out. Um, I think this should do, but again, I'll let it cure for a whole uh, night and I'll put another layer on top of it tomorrow. So now, uh, all that is left is the door channel. So I'll also go ahead and put some of this there and there is a small spot left here so I'll apply a bit more so I just need to mix a little bit so yeah let's finish this today so clean all that now there will be less noise at home uh, plus there are some plans for the flooring I'm finally getting the flooring done which I was procrastinating for almost three years because I was slightly confused because if you put interlocks uh, losing little nut bolts uh, is easy and there is oil on it that will cause problems um, you, you know over a period of time they do go uh, yellow another challenge is these uh, breaks that happens because of you know me dropping something so my wife is an architect so what she suggested is we take about uh, maybe you know around two to three inch uh, from the edge and put a granite like that so that would look little presentable um, so that is a plan we'll get that done uh, so I'll just show you quickly the progress inside the car so it started drying uh, pretty well and from the looks of it, it has been a great job. As you can see, it is completely coated, every nook and cranny. Uh, the dicky, all the side jams, everything. So that is where the carpets come. Uh, I could not coat this particular door because there is some, you can see there is a lot of mud in there which I didn't see yesterday. I thought I pressure washed it but it looks like this one got missed. Uh, and at some point in time this was a green door. The car was uh, that silky silver. So looks like this was a replacement door. That door um, is slightly dented. 
so I have to get that also fixed. Uh, denting and painting is something that I don't attempt for obvious reasons. So yeah, so that was the video and it was a very busy Monday night. So now I'll just quickly go and crash. So yeah, thanks for watching. So I'll come with updates tomorrow. Yeah, the tires have come. It's lying in the other car. Um, let me just quickly show you guys a glimpse before we call it a night. Yeah, the rains have been crazy. Almost every day it rains. And having a black car does not help. So these are the tires for the Zen. Let me see if I can show you. These are Yokohama Earth. Where is the panic? I've had very good um, feedback about these tires, especially Yokohama, because I used to run those in my Lancer. So, yeah, this is. nails in my hands. Earth one like you can see here. And the size should be somewhere here. Yep, here is the size. So it's 155, 70 or 13. This is slightly uh, less wider than the uh, tires which are there on the car as of now. As you can see, it is now very tightly packed. Uh, this edge will come out at least this much. So this will look reasonably wide, but these are the uh, larger size that you can put without uh, really messing up with the car's dynamics. So yeah, this was a good purchase. So hopefully, once the paint is dry tomorrow, I will start uh, working on it and we are back to the zen so once the zen is completed then we will start working on other cars obviously cars as in the cruise so i have some amazing things for that as well uh, you know since you guys loved cars um, in this channel other than the usual bikes so i will give you some more content car related content um, which will be for the cruise so I have 17 inch alloys uh, for the cruise which I have bought. So next is I have to put tires on it. I am actually planning to save one of these 13 inch tires because to keep it as a step uh, But they are pretty dry rotted as you can see. The rotation says that direction but this wheel is supposed to spin in this direction. See how dry rotted it is. Let me see if it, yeah. So this is... 2007-2008 tire. This is 2007. It's 2019, so 11 years old. Uh, so this is a size 175. Ours is 155. 60 or 13. Ours is 155. I think 55 or 13. So the voice and there is some height increasing that has been done. I can see and this, which I have to get rid of once everything is fine and also have to get the under body coated so that is also in plan let's see there is a lot of things in store for the zen presently the plan is to get it running at least so i am awaiting some spares uh, which i ordered from bordmo i thought that their delivery would be on time but yeah that was not a great idea because these spares were actually locally available and you have to pay shipment for each and every part that you buy. It's not like you combine certain stuff so you can combine shipment. It's not like that. So you'll have to pay shipment for each and every part, which is not right because same shop might be sending 10, you know, let's say clips. And for one clip, they might be charging 60 bucks. So they charge you 60 bucks for each clip, but they send it as one package, which is not good. So I'm not uh, enjoying that particularly. 
because if I buy spares worth thousand rupees, I pay at least five hundred rupees for shipment. And trust me, guys, the spares for Zen is cheaper than an RX hundred spare. You know, each nut and bolt that we buy for an RX hundred is more expensive than a Zen. You know, it's it's a great car, uh, but yeah, of course, age has definitely caught up to it. So these things, these gaps, and all, I have to fix. Probably I'll get a new mirror. Mm, also, I'll get this re-spray this and the other mirror because this is definitely a no-no. Uh, I need two more things to complete this. I need uh, one uh, dicky tray and I need a spare tire. Uh, that cardboard, I don't know what you say. So spare tire cover. Let's call it cover. So. After that, I think it would be completely done. I'll also show you guys the insides from this angle, so you can see how well it is coated. So yeah, this was all primer a couple of hours ago. Now it's all painted, and the fumes are really dangerous. Start assembling it. Um, so I don't think tomorrow we will be able to finish the entire assembly but what we can do is we can probably start fixing certain steps stuffs like you know i am supposed to get a brake lever um, that has been ordered but it will take some time to come then i am supposed to get a gear knob that has been ordered it will come on thursday then mostly the wiring that you see which is all over the places from for the stereo i am anyways going to remove it and throw it i'm going to put something bigger and better so that is the plan uh, so also we need to procure an armrest for this about the seat i was thinking of getting it done properly but i don't want to go bonkers now because money is important um, i've ordered the entire suspension other than the uh, right side lower arm so i'll see if that also needs replacement i'll get it replaced that's not a problem i have got the ball joints i've got the thyroid ends i've got one lower arm you know the lower arm is just 600 bucks the lower arm in a cruise is 14000 bucks so obviously you know the one in the cruise is very well engineered and you cannot compare these two but still you know looking at these two are cars and this then is not a slouch you know it's a pocket rocket it is a prestige car like you know people used to prefer zen than the maruti 800 and i'll tell you what now when i go to the city i definitely miss a small car because the city is no longer the same that it used to be a couple of years ago there is absolutely no parking but with the zen you have an advantage you can you know just park it anywhere literally uh, wherever there is space and the amount of space that it occupies is less and the space inside the car is phenomenal so i think it will make a lot of practical sense even after my wife is done learning on it you know of course uh quote unquote i'm going to keep it because this kind of effort uh i would not let it go waste so most likely what i'll do is i'll give the cruise to my wife and i'll start driving this because this looks really awesome so once she learns how to drive fully then you know i think cruise will make a better sense because that's automatic um and i don't want to go crazy with headers and you know hid lights and all that crap in this but then yeah this would be nice um i'm i'm planning to do it pretty nicely so let's see how things pan up so anyways it has been a long video so i hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed making it so keep watching uh, more videos will come so tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow hopefully we'll get the tires mounted so if you like the content kindly share it with your friends we need more subscribers i have started to ramble now uh, and i am making absolutely no sense with what i'm talking so i think it is time for me to wrap up my day as well so thanks a lot for watching um have a wonderful night and a great day tomorrow bye bye